My name is Rita and I'm from Fremont, California. I am Jackie Perez and I am from Dublin, California. My name is Erin Cianciolo and I'm from Alexandria, Virginia. My name is Andrea Ager and I'm from Denver, Colorado and now I live in Los Angeles. I've been crossfitting for two years in September. I've been crossfitting since 2008. About two and a half, almost three years now. I've been crossfitting for five years. Working hard and doing a lot of CrossFit will not get you bulky. I work at an all-girls gym and I love it, but that is what every single girl comes in saying, every single girl, because they don't want to look bulky and they don't want to be um, so lean that they lose their boobs or they lose their butt or, you know, they want to keep their curves and that's normal. I always try to tell them just like, just don't worry about what your body's going to look like. Just worry about your diet, worry about things you can control and it'll, it'll end up being exactly what you want. Back in high school, I was uncomfortable with how I looked throughout the whole time. I either wasn't blonde enough, I wasn't skinny enough, I didn't have a big enough butt, my butt was too big. I don't think I was ever confident in myself because I never, I guess I never put the work hard to look a certain way, so I never liked what I saw because it wasn't what I wanted to see. My perception of beauty has changed over the past few years. It went from, okay, there's this woman in the magazine that's small, tiny, little wafy thing with you know a lot of makeup covering their face. Like, okay, that was beauty, but it wasn't real beauty. Looking at that now, I'm able to identify the difference of this is someone who is made to look a certain way to be presented on a magazine and then true beauty. It's part of its strength and fitness and confidence in yourself. It changed everything. I used to eat good, work out really hard, go home, look in the mirror, be like, oh, I still don't see what I'm looking for because I wasn't doing any of the work to get there. I was just trying to be skinny. That wasn't getting me anywhere. With CrossFit, I set goals like, I want to deadlift 225. I'm gonna hit that faster than I'm going to look in the mirror and like what I see. So performance goals are gonna get there faster, which is gonna get you to where you wanna look like. Most people think that this can happen really quick and it's not gonna happen really quick. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take a lot of goal setting. It's gonna take a lot of hard work. A lot of people don't wanna do that. I, th I think that hard work and the way that your body looks are go so hand in hand, but I think people either wanna do one or the other. And they, they notice, they realize after looking at someone's body, they're like, I wanna look like that. And then they watch them train. They're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a lot of work to do until that happens. But then once you do get a body that you want, it, um, it, you're very proud of it. You're very proud of what your body can do. Cross has made me more confident, made me stronger, made me more fit than I've ever been, than I ever thought I could be. I don't have to wear sweats because I don't feel good in what I'm wearing. I just feel much better all around. I'm not working out to look good. I'm, working out to be strong, to be fit. CrossFit actually made me gain muscle and lose fat, which was exactly what my body wanted. And now it's kind of like a homeostasis, like now it's happy this way. But I think for a long time, I was trying to change it so much because I thought I knew what I wanted to look like. And now I'm very comfortable. My guy friends beforehand, you know, sexy girl with somebody, you know, big breasts, big butt, tiny waist. Now it's changed. They see these girls, you know, they have shoulders, they're strong. You know, not what you had seen before. I mean, it's completely changed. Men are always now like, oh wow, that girl, she looks amazing. She's so strong. Muscle. I think muscle is really pretty and it enhances a woman's looks. I've worked my butt off. I've trained really hard. I'm very proud of my physique. I always think that I look the same. And I live in a community where I teach and coach at multiple gyms and I'm only around CrossFitters. When I go other places, that's when people are like, oh my gosh, what do you do? Or like, are you a bodybuilder? Or are you a CrossFitter? Or they like ask these questions and I'm like, I don't ever think I look different. And it's actually something that people hadn't expected before. I mean, I don't want my girlfriend to have, you know, big traps. I don't want her to be strong. I don't want her to look a certain way. Now it's like, wow, I really think that my girlfriend's beautiful because she's so much stronger. She has muscle tone. And it became like that the whole song that came out, My Chick Bad, My Chick Hood. It's like that kind of just exemplifies what CrossFit has done, you know, to um, show how women have changed with CrossFit and how men look at them. I'm girly. 
I'm a tomboy most of the time. I'm a woman and I'm mostly a CrossFit athlete. I'm a mother, I'm 36, and I'm a CrossFit athlete. I'm 28 years old and I'm a CrossFit athlete. I'm 22, I'm beautiful, I'm strong, and I'm a CrossFit athlete.